Hi everyone, welcome to KRW Beauty and Nature. And today we are going to do a taste test of our Jamaican hibiscus, Jamaican sorrel, Roselle, Roselle hibiscus. There's different names for it, but the taste is all the same. So what I did is I did two different brews and the video after this intro will describe how I mixed together two of the brews, but we're going to do a taste test. We're going to do one that actually had the cinnamon sticks in it and cloves and it also had ginger and lime or lemon mixed in it, but I actually drained the lemon and the um, the ginger was mixed into uh, the brew that was brewed. And then I still have a couple of leaves in here that was left over from the brew. And then we actually have the drink. So I'm just going to pour them into here. This will be the one with the cinnamon stick in the clove. All right, and then this will be the one that was plain. All right, and what I'm going to do, I've been talking about monk fruit sweetener lately, so I am going to add this. This is, uh, if you want to use something besides sugar, this is a uh, keto, good for keto. If you have diabetes and you can't use regular cane sugar, you can use this, but it's called monk fruit sweetener. And I just got this from Amazon. You can order from Amazon. Some of the local grocery stores might carry it, but if not, I'll have a link in the description box where you can order it from Amazon. All right, we're just gonna add some monk fruit and I'm going to add it in both of them and I'm just using a small little teaspoon I'm not going to add that much just two of Close this up. And now we're just going to mix it together. And this is still a little warm. I am going to put the top back on. All right, so we are going to taste both of these. And I'm going to sip a little bit from the cup, but this also stains. So I, I got a straw <laughs> just in case because this stains kind of like coffee stains your teeth. But we're going to taste it without the straw first. So. This is, this is pretty good, pretty good. Okay, that's the one without the cloves and without the cinnamon stick. So now we're gonna try the one with the cinnamon stick. And I actually boiled it with the cinnamon stick in the water um, and then I added an extra cinnamon stick just in it so it hasn't had time to you know really get deep into the the tresses of it all all right so we're gonna taste this oh now this one has a little swing a little twang a twang in it <laughs> oh. 
Oh yes, this one has more of a spice in it. So if you like that spicy pop type of flavor, then yes, have the one with the actual cinnamons and the clove and the ginger and lemon. I had lemon slice in it, so. Mm. Now I added the monk fruit to both of them, the sweetener to both of them. And I'll be talking, ooh, I'll be talking again about that when you actually see uh, the blow by blow of when I boiled the two combinations together. And the ginger I actually got from my ginger plant out in our backyard. And unfortunately the cold weather attacked it and it just didn't make it through. I was surprised that we had cold weather in Florida, but <laughs> when it got down to 30 degrees at night for about a week straight, I was like, uh-oh, my plants are in trouble. And yeah, my poor plants bit the dust because I didn't bring them in the house. But we are going to restart our garden series in a couple of days. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the rest of this video so that you can see how I made it. Bye-bye. <laughs> we're back so we have the ingredients for our sorrel recipe and this is the sorrel that we'll be using Let's see if I can get that to focus in there and I ordered this from Dan's Permaculture Food Force and I'll link the link below when, once this video is published. So we have our dry, dry sorrel leaves. And we will be using, we, we have two pots going because we're doing two different recipes. So on this recipe, we are going to do the sorrel with the ginger, and we're just gonna bring that to a boil. And then this pot, we're doing cinnamon sticks, cloves, little pieces of ginger, and we're gonna throw in some lemon. So while we are getting both of those pots to boil, we wanna get them to boil at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is finish cutting up can you see me over here? There you go. Finish cutting up the lemon. And we wanna focus more on the skin, but I'll put a couple of slices in there too. Are you able to see me? Turn the camera there. All right, now we're getting the, the proper boil that I was waiting for. All right. Turn that down a little bit, a little ferocious there. Okay, so in both recipes, we're gonna add the leaves. Let me get this water back up to a bowl. Are you able to see that? All right, so we have both in there. And then both of them, we're gonna add our little ginger pieces. And this is supposed to boil for 20 minutes, but it's a two day process. So once we bring it to a boil and put all of our ingredients in there, we actually have to let it sit for 24 hours in the refrigerator. So I'll come back tomorrow once we uh, get to that point. So in this recipe, we're gonna also add our lemons. We're gonna also add our cinnamon sticks. Um, I got one in, let me throw two in there just in case. And then we're gonna also add cloves. So this recipe says four cloves. I'm just gonna do a little handful. All right. Okay. 
and look at the beautiful color. Look at that. That is beautiful. So we're going to let that go for 20 minutes. Right now it is 402. Look at that, look at that, look at that. This one is more of a simmer, it's on a different eye. So I brought this water to a boil originally and then I switched eyes. So we are going to let that do its magic. Just a little bit. And I'm going to get a spoon. Just do a little stirring. Look at this beautifully. And this recipe has more in it, so of course the the, the consistency is going to be a little bit different. But I want to bring them to a simmer so that they're both similar. So let me turn down this eye a little bit more. Full force going there. And I'm just going to stir a little bit more. And I was originally able to drink sorrel on my trip with my husband and my in-laws to Barbados. So that was the first time I was exposed to sorrel. And it is a fruity drink and it's best served cold. We're just starting out with these two recipes. Oh, it smells so good. And when we leave it in for the 24 hours in the refrigerator, we're gonna actually leave the leaves in it. And then strain the leaves from it tomorrow. So that way it can get the full effect. So if you are originally from the islands, you have easy access to Jamaican sorrel, and you can just pick it and make it yourself and dry it. But since I'm here in Florida and I didn't know where to get it, I ordered it from a dance permaculture full force, and he is based here in Florida, and he grows sorrel. And like Emerald used to say, I wish we had smell-o-vision so that you can actually smell the aromas permeating right now. Get a quick stir over here. Look at that. We have our cinnamon, we have our lemon. Now this recipe calls for a lemon zest, where you, you know, have lemon shavings. But I threw the whole lemon in there. Oh, it smells so good. And you can smell the ginger permeating the air. All right, well, this is the sweetener called monk fruit sweetener. And it's supposed to be a sugar replacement for people who have uh, diabetes or they're on the keto diet. Um, it's zero calories, it's zero glycemic, and it's zero net carbs. And it's called monk fruit. So yes, you can add this instead of regular sugar. That way you won't have that sugar spike. Look at that deep, deep maroon color. 
This is beautiful. We're just gonna let it simmer for a few more minutes. When it cools a little bit more, I'm going to transfer to these bowls and let it sit in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So thank you for joining me and 